Welcome to Tiny Tours. My name is Paula Greer and I'm a docent at the Meadows Museum. Today we will take a look at Portrait of Mari by Antonio Saura. Saura was one of the major post-war artists to emerge in Spain in the 1950s. He is best known for his abstract gestural paintings that pay homage to Spain's cultural heritage. The painting you are looking at is from the Meadows Permanent Collection. It is oil on canvas, measures 64 by 51 inches, and was painted in 1958. As you look at it, I would like to give you some more information about the artist. Antonio Saura was born in 1930 in the province of Aragon, located in the northeastern part of Spain. He began his career early in life as a self-taught artist while recovering from tuberculosis. During that time, he was confined to his bed for five years. He was a post-war artist whose childhood memories were formed from the images of cities in ruins and disfigured, amputated, and wounded bodies from the Spanish Civil War and from World War II. In 1953, he moved to Paris, where he became involved with the Surrealists and was introduced to the social circles of the Parisian avant-garde, the Informalists. Four years later, along with other Spanish artists and critics, he founded the group El Paso in Madrid in 1957, one of the first avant-garde art movements in Spain under General Francisco Franco. Now that you've had a few moments to look at the painting, you've probably noticed some important details. Perhaps the first thing you noticed were the bold brush strokes of paint applied in an abstract frenetic manner, as well as the limited palette colors of black and gray, which create blue-gray appearing tones on the white canvas. These colors evoke a serious somber mood. The size of the painting is large, aggressive, and notice demanding, and there is no narrative structure. Although abstract, the subject is clearly a portrait showing the face, shoulders, arms, and hands of the sitter. Mari's face shows pain, fury, and disenchantment. The blind vision, blank eyes, and cruel gaze explode and twist in the anxiety of black and blue. She appears to be overwhelmed by emotions, constantly squeezing, then releasing her tense hands and fingers. As we ponder Mari's empty look, it presents as a scaffolding of disturbing energy translated into broad paint strokes, areas of impasto, and drippings like tears running down her face. And in the center of the painting, we notice the energetic brushstrokes forming the letter A. Saura has been quoted as saying, I believe in the beauty of the monstrous. For him, figures of monstrous bodies functioned as incidents of artistic self-evaluation and cultural commentary. As you look more closely, ask yourself questions. For example, what similarities does the portrait of Mari have to traditional portraits? What are some differences? The female body and portraiture were among Sauda's principal subjects. Throughout his body of work, he borrowed from the figurative tradition of painters, including Velázquez, Rembrandt, Goya and his black paintings, and Picasso, while his style was informed by European gestural painting and American abstract expressionism. Saura created several series of figurative works, including imaginary portraits in 1958 and 59, and self-portraits between 1959 and 1966. Thanks for listening. We invite you to join us again for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.